seated. Good evening and welcome to the Cedar Park High School graduation for the class of 2023. My name is Delaney McClure, your class of 2023 vice president. To begin with, I would like to recognize our honored guests. Please stand when you are announced. Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Bruce Gearing. Leander ISD Board President, Trish Bodie. Leander ISD Board Vice President, Dr. Gloria Gonzalez de Luckia. Leander ISD Board Secretary, Anna Smith. Leander ISD Board Member, Shade Fashokun. Leander ISD Board Member, Christine Maurer. Leander ISD Board Member, Francesca Romans. Chief of Schools, Dr. Sarah Grissom. Area Superintendent for CPHS, Kristen Alex. Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Matt Bent. Deer Creek Elementary Principal, Matthew Calkins. Westside Elementary Principal, Amanda Lillard. Cedar Park Middle School Principal, Dr. Keith Morgan. Our Cedar Park High School Counselors, Lead Counselor Lee Crochet, Counselor Thomas Colick. <laughs> Counselor Kelly Taylor. <laughs> Counselor James Sullivan. <laughs> Counselor Lisa Semper. <laughs> Associate Principal Teresa Back. Dean of Instruction, Jennifer Coleman. Cedar Park High School Principal, John Sloan. Also in attendance today, but not on stage, Cedar Park High School Assistant Principals, Philip Pierce, Julie Raby, and Vernon Rogers. Our candidate name readers for this afternoon are CPHS teachers Adam Babich and Nadira King. At this time, please stand for the presentation of colors by the Leander Junior ROTC and remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by the Cedar Park High School Choir.
please be seated. Welcome, and thank you for everyone who came to support us as we quite literally walk into the next phase of our lives. My name is Ainsley Harlan, and I've had the honor of serving as senior class president for this past year. But more importantly, I've had the honor of being everyone here's classmate for the past 12. When I was first told I'd be giving a speech at graduation, I was tasked with reflecting upon the past 12 years, which is a daunting task to say the least, so I stepped back and compartmentalized and did some math, and here's what I figured. From kindergarten to graduation, we've spent almost seven million minutes together. Our timer beginning its countdown, we were thrown into elementary school, a whirlwind of meeting new people, playing capture the flag, and most importantly, watching Bill Nye videos every Friday. With around four million minutes left, we said our elementary school goodbyes and moved on to middle school. Fun fact, we were the first and only class to earn ourselves assigned seats for the entirety of seventh grade, so you can't say we never accomplished anything. <laughs> and just before we hit our last two million, we moved into high school. Soon the work and extracurriculars piled on. We found our groups and rallied at football games. We got heckled at freshman year pep rallies, later becoming the hecklers. We date with that thing called COVID. We registered to vote. We didn't learn to do our taxes. We cried over physics problems, wherever Mr. Kalb is tonight. And around the one million mark, we completely lost track of time, for it was moving far too quickly for any of us to notice. Until tonight, when we get our diplomas, toss our caps, and walk out those doors, when our timer finally hits zero. Through these minutes, we've had many times in which we felt overwhelmed as if everything was out of our control, whether it be staying up night studying or writing an essay, Show of hands, who here has been personally victimized by crying over math at 2 a.m. while our dads teach us how they learned it in the 80s? But here's what I've come to realize. We were supposed to feel like that because in those moments, some of our best memories were made. Then I thought maybe it wasn't appropriate to measure our time together in minutes because to be honest with you, I had to go back and make a bunch of estimations for those numbers. I don't think any of us could have recite our report card from the past four years from front to back, except maybe Arnoff. Hey, bud. <laughs> Instead, I remember the panic that arose from my AP chemistry test with Mr. Cheery, or the essays from Ms. Iskra, and the classmates that got me through it. We remember the people we've cheered next to in the student section for the past four years. I lost a cord. <laughs> we remember the people we've walked through the halls with and cram studied with. We remember the people we've grown up next to for the past 12 years. And in the end, I even fondly remember the spamming of the senior group, me, and maybe fondly remember running Senior Assassin. What I'm trying to say is, we don't tend to remember the smaller things like time in the end. We remember the relationships that came out of it, the memories. Whether they're spent crying, laughing, most likely a really weird mixture of the two, we got through it. So, as we move forward into the ceremony today, I encourage you not to think about the time we are ending, for that has gone behind. Instead, I encourage you to reflect on the memories that came out of it, good, bad, and ugly, and how it shaped who you are today. We've done a lot of growing up, and we've done it together. So, as I stand here today, I have one last senior announcement to make, although this time it will not be through the group me. Thank you for letting me grow up with you. I have full faith and confidence that every single one of us will go on to do great things in our own lives, in our own ways. And as Bill Nye would say, Never forget the people you started out with. For every successful science experiment begins with a solid foundation. Thank you.
At this time, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce Leander ISD Superintendent, Dr. Bruce Gehring. It is my honor to be with you tonight and to introduce Cedar Park High School's salutatorian and valedictorian. The Cedar Park High School class of 2023 salutatorian is Gotham Saravanan. <laughs> Gotham is the son of Kalyan and Saravanan. He is an officer in National Honor Society Science National Honor Society, and Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society. He is also the president of Investment Club, Math UIL, and an officer in DECA. He is a three-time international qualifier and two-time international finalist in DECA, and has also competed on our computer science UIL team. Gotham plans to attend the University of Texas at Austin and get his master's degree in computer science while also dual majoring in business. Your class of 2023 salutatorium, Gotham Saravan. Good evening, friends, family, and faculty. It is an honor to be standing here as your salutatorium. I must admit, I was tempted to start this speech with a joke, but my comedic timing is as reliable as a cell service in the science building. So, instead, I would like to acknowledge the amazing school culture we have here. These students have demonstrated excellence across all categories, spanning from athletics to academics, and have been recognized at state and national levels. Although we may not realize it right now, we have been privileged to have been raised in a culture of success. Now, let's, let's take a trip down memory lane and reflect on our high school journey. We can't forget the struggles that we faced along the way because we faced a lot. First of all, who would have predicted that the end of our freshman year would be defined by a global pandemic? We were stuck at home binge watching movies and TV shows while eating whatever we could find. And let's not forget the constant fear of running out of toilet paper. <laughs> we learned how to make the best out of a bad situation, and we did it all while wearing pajamas. My Spider-Man pajamas served me well for real. However, it wasn't easy to stay motivated and focused while being surrounded by so many distractions at home. But we somehow managed to get through it. Something I won't miss about online school were the awkward, pin drop, silent Zoom meetings we had while looking at each other's foreheads and ceilings. High school has truly prepared us for the wildest and most unpredictable plot twists in life. But in all seriousness, the pandemic taught us a lot about our resilience and adaptability. Through technology, we found new ways to communicate with each other and showed the world that online school is not a barrier for learning, but a catalyst for growth. Our junior and senior years felt like our only normal years of high school as we all started to adjust back to in-person classes and began to actually touch grass again. Is it just me or was transitioning from online school to in-person school harder than transitioning from middle school to high school? We all juggled multiple responsibilities trying to maintain a healthy work-life balance while experiencing the problematic symptoms of senioritis and for me, a little bit of junioritis as well. We really have seen it all and made it here today, so let's all congratulate ourselves once again. Yeah. Being a part of clubs here at CBHS really changed who I am. Through these clubs, I discovered that sometimes the most valuable lessons aren't taught in a classroom, but in the experiences we, we share together. From surviving life-threatening adventures on DECA trips, such as getting trapped in an elevator for an hour with 10 other people, with Alex right there, getting a severe case of hives, tearing my dress shoes, 
and almost cracking my skull open to honing my skills alongside dedicated groups of officers, I have been profounded, profoundly transformed mentally and physically. Another important I learn, lesson I learned from high school is to thank the people who helped you get to where you are today. Thank you to my parents and my brother for shaping me to be the person I am today. Thank you to all my friends for actually helping me get a social life so I didn't stay as a nerd. <laughs> and thank you to all the teachers and faculty for inspiring me to pursue my interests. Special shout out to all my science teachers for not counting me tardy, no matter how late I showed up to classes in the morning. Y'all are real ones. We've all been through so much during high school that life itself has become the ultimate test. And if high school has taught me anything, it's that sometimes you just have to guess the answer and hope for the best. But jokes aside, high school was a time of growth, both personally and academically. We formed friendships that will last a lifetime, and we discovered new passions and talents. Looking back, I am proud of how we came together as a community to support one another through these difficult times. We may have been physically separated, but we were still there for each other in every way we could be. I'm honored to have been part of such an amazing class, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for each and every one of us. And finally, thanks to ChatGBT for helping you write this speech last night. Thank you, class of 2023, for an unforgettable high school experience. The Cedar Park High School Class of 2023 Valedictorian is Ryan Leo. <laughs> Ryan is the son of J.C. Leo and Amy Chen. He's a member of the National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, and the UIL English and Science teams. He is also the president of HOSA Future Health Professionals and the team lead for the Medical Reserve Corps team. In addition, he worked as a policy intern at the Austin City Council. Ryan will enter the eight-year program in liberal medical education at Brown University for the fall of 2023. Your class of 2023 valedictorian, Ryan Leo. Hi everyone, I'm Ryan. It's been over 10 years since I was last here at the HEB Center when a much smaller version of me wore a Toy Story cowboy costume with spurred leather boots cheering on a rodeo show. Although bull riding will not be on the agenda today, I feel just as excited today as I did then. First, I wanna thank everyone who has made this day possible. From the Leander ISD board, Mr. Sloan and the APs, to the counselors, teachers, and faculty. I'm so grateful for my parents who have been my biggest supporters since day one. I'm so proud to be here with all of you and finally graduate Cedar Park High School's class of 2023. We've all reached the end, but our journey was rough. Our high school experience could be an FRQ on the US AP, AP US history exam 100 years down the line. Friday, March 13th, 2020 was our last day of in-person school until junior year. That spring, the future felt obscure and full of so much uncertainty, but we learned so much about ourselves and how to cope during stressful times. We found ways to use technology to help maintain connections with others, but also realized that it could never replace face-to-face -face interaction. Next came 10th grade. Although the new school year felt like a fresh start, it slowly degenerated into snoring during class, laptop camera wars during English, and the sounds of garbage trucks passing by our house every time we unmuted ourselves. Forging deep connections with teachers 
and students seemed impossible at the time, a virtual portal separating us from everyone we talked to. We adapted by going on socially distanced walks and learned to be better group members in breakout rooms. Eventually, we got used to the new environment. 11th grade was a whole different beast. Garbage truck sounds were a thing of the past, but in-person classes seemed foreign again. Junior year was like the last Jenga block we pulled before the entire tower came crashing down. But the remarkable thing about our class is how relentless we were. Year after, we adapted and changed and adjusted. Relaunching ourselves into the normal rigors of school and extracurriculars was hard at first, but we persevered. We relearned how to navigate the ropes of classrooms, exams, and the densest breadsticks known to mankind. We made it somehow. Then came senior year, when a brand new pandemic began to spread like wildfire, senioritis. Multiple variants ran wild in our school with many different symptoms. I came down with a case of pretending to listen to my teacher while I secretly asked myself things like, if you're invisible and close your eyes, can you see through your eyelids? I've never been able to figure that out. Fortunately, we all survived senioritis. We learned to push through even when the light at the end of the tunnel seems so close. The class of 2023 are like human octopi. We change shape to adapt to whatever situation life throws at us. These past four years have pushed our resilience to its limits, but we never surrendered to our volatile environment. Now we're on the edge of the real world. We must decide how we're going to use our resiliency to our advantage in our future relationships, dreams, and careers. If that means going into a deep hibernation until the end of summer, I don't blame you. We've been through enough. But it could also mean putting any future obstacles into perspective and continuing to grow from them. The next time you get stuck, encounter an unsolvable problem in calculus, or run into your best friend or ex-best friend you have lingering drama with, stop and think about the fact that you went to high school during a global pandemic. Take a deep breath. We'll inevitably be wounded again in the future, but we'll heal, we'll learn, we'll adapt, and we'll grow even more resilient. At future reunions, we'll look back on these years with amazement. But until then, we need to remember that we're all together in this game called life. And remember not to take everything too seriously, because at the end of the day, we're all just motile bodies on a floating rock flying through space. On that very existential note, I'm so proud to share this moment with all of you. And please join me in celebrating the graduates of the great class of 2023. My name is Calista Khan, Student Body Vice President, and on behalf of the Class of 2023, I would like to congratulate our distinguished grads. And now, please enjoy a special performance by our award-winning CPHS Choir. They will be singing The Road Home by Stephen Paulus. Enjoy.
Good evening. Good evening, seniors. Good evening, family, friends. It's such an honor for me to be the principal of Cedar Park High School and to be able to celebrate the class of 2023. I first would like to thank some of our honored guests, Dr. Gearing and the Leander administrative team, the board of trustees for their leadership and their service. The success of these students is also not possible with our feeder pat without our feeder pattern principals and staffs that start that journey 13 years ago. And of course, I have to thank our Cedar Park High School staff, many of who are in attendance today and are so proud of these students as they prepare to graduate. Seniors, I'm truly proud in, of each and every one of you and what you've achieved and overcome to reach this milestone. But I know there are some people here that are even more proud of you than I am. Seniors, at this time, would you please stand so that we can be recognized by our parents. Let's take a quarter turn to the right. Let's take a quarter turn toward the back of the arena. Toward the back. Let's hear it from the people in the back. And how about another quarter turn to my other side, the right side. All right, you may be seated. We could not ask for a more supportive community, parents, families, so involved and passionate partners that help make CPHS such an incredible school. Our honored grad speakers did a great job tonight of highlighting the memories and achievements of this class. I'm gonna take some time to brag about them myself. Seniors, as we review your accolades tonight, I'm gonna to ask you to stand if any of the criteria apply to you. First, I would like to honor and recognize our students who have made the commitment to serve in the United States Armed Forces after graduation. Students, if you've committed to serving in the U.S. military through enlistment, ROTC, or appointment to one of the U.S. military academies, please stand at this time to be recognized. Thank you. The class of 2023 has an unwavering commitment to academics these students have distinguished themselves through outstanding performance on ACT, SAT, PSAT, and advanced placement exams. We have in this group 261 students, approximately 61% of the senior class who have taken one or more AP exams. Together, these seniors took 517 AP exams this year and over 1,544 exams over the last four years. With this in mind, the class, in this class, we have 150 students who have been recognized with honors through advanced placement programs, which means they have completed a minimum of three AP courses and earned, earned college credit qualifying scores on each exam taken. Students, if you earn the distinct, distinction of AP Scholar, AP Scholar with Honor, or AP Scholar with Distinction, would you please stand to be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. Students who participate in our two-year AP capstone program develop important skills including research, collaboration, and communication. Students who successfully complete the rigorous AP seminar and AP research courses and earn AP, they can earn an AP capstone certificate and with an additional four AP exams earn the AP capstone diploma. Will our 15 AP Capstone Diploma candidates and the 13 AP Capstone Certificate recipients please stand to be recognized. Congratulations, you may be seated. So also amongst these seniors are 29 students who received recognition through the National Merit Scholarship Program, including 15 National Merit Commended Scholars 
nine National Merit, National Merit Hispanic Latino scholars, and five National Merit finalists, representing fewer than the top 0.5% of all students nationwide based on PSAT score. Will our 29 National Merit Scholar Award recipients please stand to be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. So this year our students enjoyed unprecedented success in UI ac academic competition. Our academic teams had the best showing in school history, winning districts and regionals and placing third overall in the state meet. So students, if you participated on one of our UIL academic teams, would you please stand to be recognized? Congratulations, thank you. Through Austin Community College, many of these students have had the opportunity to earn credits for both high school and college courses simultaneously. 94 students in the class of 2023 collectively earned over 1,200 college credit hours through ACC. As a cohort, they earned roughly $1 million worth of college credits. With our, will our purple ACC Honor Cord recipients please stand to be recognized? All right, congratulations, you may be seated. So in addition to your academic achievements, you've ensured that Cedar Park High School continues to be recognized as a premier school in Texas for athletics, fine arts, and CTE programs. CPHS students excel in the fields of engineering, architecture, agriculture, construction, graphic design, AV production, business, education, health science, hospitality, and more. Many of these students have gained meaningful career skills and earned valuable industry-based certifications through these programs. Students, will you please stand if you earned one of these industry-based certifications through one of our CTE programs? Thank you. All right, the CPHS Robotics FTC team had an amazing year winning UIL State Championship and advancing to the Worlds where they placed amongst the top 10 teams in the world. If you participated in robotics, would you stand up, please? Thank you. All right, another program that had, had really unbelievable success this year, our DECA program had an unprecedented su success with 29 state qualifiers, seven international finalists, including a fourth place team in internationals and an international championship team. If you're a part of that DECA program, would you stand up please? Okay, thank you. The Cedar Park High School journalism programs are unparalleled. Our online newspaper, the Wolfpack, the Tracks Yearbook, and the Wolf, Wolfcast Broadcast Program were all UIL Star Award recipients representing the top 10% of all journalism programs in the state. And I know some of those kids, they've interviewed a lot of the people on this stage and a lot of you out there and do an amazing job. If you're part of one of our journalism programs, would you stand up please? Thank you. In the visual and performing arts, we have much to be proud of. Our choir earned the highest possible distinctions in UIL performances. Our celebrities, dance team, and theater programs produce inspiring performances and receive awards and accolades. Our Timberwolf Band program continues to raise the bar. They had incredible success in BOA competition this year. These band students have two UIL state gold medals to their credit and have been state champions their entire time in high school. Let's hear it for all those programs. <laughs> Athletically, our, our students, these seniors, have also made a tremendous mark on Cedar Park. Our teams have enjoyed great success during their seasons and, po and in postseason competition. This success is highlighted by the girls swim team who captured the UIL 5A state championship. <laughs> students, in an attempt to do justice to your successes in the arts, athletics, and CTE fields, will you please stand if any of these accolades apply to you? First, please stand if you earned all district honors 
or earned a medal in district competition as a performer, player, or competitor in UIL or CTE program. So all district honors or district medals. Thank you, you may be seated. Now please stand if you earned all regional honors in one of those fields. All regional honors are medaled in a regional competition. Congratulations, and stay standing if you earned all state honors, or all state. That's a lot of all state competitors. And stay standing if you are a state champion, if you are a state champion. It's a big state. You don't have that many at a lot of schools. Congratulations. All right. So in addition to all these successes, I would just argue that these students are some of the most humble, compassionate, empathetic, socially conscious people you could ever hope to meet. They're going to go off to do amazing things in their lives and in their communities. The Cedar Park High School school song ends with the lyrics, Forever Cedar Park High. Everyone knows these lyrics and they sing them, although nobody seems to know the rest of the song. But what do they mean? You probably won't live in Cedar Park the rest of your lives and hang out with the same people for the rest of your lives. Forever Cedar Park signifies a lasting connection that you'll have with your school and community. It represents a strong sense of pride and belonging with your graduating class. The phrase signifies the importance of the memories and experience that you've gained during your time at Cedar Park High School and how you will carry them into the future. My hope is that you take what you've learned into the next phase of life and make a positive impact on the world while pursuing, pursuing your passions and goals. This is the part where I'm gonna need your help, seniors. I'm very proud of you, and remember, wherever life takes you, you will always be All right, forever Cedar Park High. And now I have the honor of presenting the class of 2023 graduate candidates. Seniors, please rise. <laughs> Madam President, Board of Trustees, Dr. Gearing, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Cedar Park High School, I certify that all students today have met all graduation requirements as stipulated by the Board of Education and the Texas Education Association. It is my honor to present to you the Cedar Park High School Class of 2023. Will our first row remain standing? Everybody else can sit and prepare to come forward. Ryan Austin Liu. Gautham Saravanan. Alexander Ramam Thumapali. Bradley Liu Sun. Arnav Batra. 
Erin Jayun Nam. Claire Ilana Bittner. Austin Dong Jia. Scott MacArthur Marsh. Zachariah Spencer Dorney. Caroline Reese Abbott. Jocelyn May Adair. Alexis Joyce Adams. Madeline Claire Adams. Tess Elise Adams. Chase Archie Adkison. Alex Jacob Aguirre. Daisy Albiter Diaz. Nathan Kyle Alexander. Sydney Marion Alexander. Brady Hideaki Allen. Mason Elise Allen Barnhart. Luis Salvador Alonso. Enrique Ricardo Alvarado. Olivia Brooke Alvis. Leah Renee Archie. Isaiah Rafael Riano. Morgan Renee Arthur. Olivia Anduin Ayela Scharf. Avantika Kavia Ayadurai. Sophia Marie Bailey. Kayla Morgan Baker. Ariana Balakrishnan. Megan Elizabeth Ballard. Isaac Thomas Barksdale. Ethan Ann Barnes. Ethne, sorry. Sofia Mikhailovna Bashirova. Tate Myers Bernstein. Ishan Bar Udwaj. Bryn Marie Boatwright. Kira Renee Bima. Asia Josephine Botney. Cabrina Diana Bowman. Logan John Boyer. Abigail Faith Boyle. Isaac Albert Bro. Dylan Demarcus Braseno. Jacob Bryce Brock. Pierce Robert Beijing Brook. Alexander Cole Brown. Connor Michael Burgess. Alexa Ann Burke. Campbell Kathleen Burke. Riley Shea 
Burke. Samuel Ray Burns. Kennedy Lee Burris. Sky Alia Bustamante. Morgan James Byrne. Michael David Calderon. Kendall Michelle Calhoun. Kennedy Lane Calhoun. Ava Lee Calloway. Dominic Ryan Joseph Caruso. Ty Allen Cathy. Jacob Elijah Cottle. Kaysen Daniel Cave. Kate Marie Casales. Adam Noor Champion. Amelia Birdie Chapa. Mia Betty Chaplin. Matthew Lyle Chater. Tomas Chavez. Ashley Danielle Chicala. Julian David Shimataro. Grant Nathaniel Clark. Benjamin William Clark. Grant Douglas Cleveland. Tyler Reese Clifton. Daniel Joseph Cloward. Vivian Coleman. Jackson Reed Coleman. Avery Michelle Conover. Spencer Cameron Cook. Dora Ann Domingo Cooper. Gerardo Eduardo Cordova Esquivel. J. Saman Cornelius. Jenna Noel Cortade. Amy Beth Cortright. Grace Michaela Cortright. Charity Elizabeth Cox. Jackson Alexander Cox. Michaela Renee Cox. Casey Marie Craddock. Tara Evelyn Craighead. Katrina Beth Cribs. Nia Victoria Cummings. Kylie Addison Kernut. Ashley Marie Dazi. Aiden Thomas Daly. Braden Ben Damron. 
Natalie Claire Danton. Ayushi Dasmunchi. Bernadette Josefina Danelle Davis. Camden Morgan Davis. Logan Glenn Davis. William Robert Davis. Sophie Claire Dawson. Stefan Juan Antonio de Arujo. Alyssa Mary Decker. William Anthony Di Domenico. Antonio Miguel De La Rosa. Aaron Elena Denis. Delaney Carleen De Ruder. Brooks Collier Dillman. Anden Jacob Dillon. Nicholas James DeLucio. Julius Michael Dominguez. Ella Lee Downey. Stephanie Mark DuBose. Rebecca Lynn Dyke. Tyler Oliver Earl. Alexander Marcello Ejish. Brady Michael Elford. Abby Nicole Epley. Carrie Julianne Evans. Sophia Ann Farias. Matthew George Farmer. Samantha Lee Farr. Ethan Jacob Fallhaber. Noah Robert Fahrenbach. John David Fell. Hugh Joseph Ferris. Sydney Nicole Fielding. Jackson Thomas Fortney. Carson Dean Foster. Benjamin Tate Fox. Lucas Scott Fox. Nicole Rosemary Franklin. Luke Michael Fuselay. Jaden J Dog Gallegos. Ana Gomez. Quincy Christian Garcia. Victoria Maribel Garcia de Leon. Eliana Grace Garza. Jordan Ashley Garza. 
Kareem Gaspard. Ashlyn Jean Gosley. Julia Ann Joffroy Garib. Dylan Elizabeth Gilkey. Hudson Tyler Glace. Aranza Gonzalez Gonzalez. Parker Todd Grabi. Avery Elizabeth Grot. Amani Ashara Pauline Graham. Diana Paulina Grano Salazar. Kai Alexander Gray. Ryan North Green. Tessa Louise Griffin. Noah Sean Noble Gross. Jimena Guarrama Castillo. Vishnupriya Gupta. Adrian Jesse Gutierrez. Landry Joe Gwynn. Jonathan Truitt Haley. Ainsley Lake Harlan. Kylie Estelle Harris. Jake Martin Hayes. Amaya Christina Henderson. Cameron Lee Henderson. Catherine Biene Hernandez. Paula Alejandra Hernandez. Valeria Nicole Hernandez. Reagan Bria Hill. Sophia Lee Hilton. Jax Holcomb. Gavin Aubrey Homburg. Lucy Michelle Hoppy. Holly Paige Hormuth. Hayden Addison Howard. Evan James Howell. Jasmine Alexandria Hudson. Jasmine Taylor Hufford. Laura Elizabeth Hunter. Brene Aramel Jackson. Noah Asher Jacobson. Aiden Jeffrey Johnson. Audrey Donna Johnson. Brooke Diane Johnson. Chauncey Philip Johnson. Blake Andrew Jones. Jessica Helen Jones. Preston Dale Jones. Jonah Anthony Jordan. Riley Brooke Jordan. Kartik Kalra. Logan James Kelly. Jejong Kim. Jonathan Jaekun Kim. Kaylee Michelle Kirkland. Rylan A. Klatt. Greta Grace Klein. Trevor Chungwei Ko. Henny Ko. 
Callista Christina Khan. Jaden Skyler Kohlenbrander. Michaela Colts. Mia Elise Kanopchek. Colin Ryan Kramer Martinez. Cameron Nicole Kramer. Tyler Michael Kukla. Eli Swift Lackey. Riley Andrew Lambert. America Lauren Lara. Mary Ann Lawler. Sarah Bell Lawrence Stewart. Peyton Ann Leach. Chloe Nora Levy. Joshua Michael Lewis. Kristen Elizabeth Lewis. Winston Lynn. Shane Lipkin. Paula Yamas. Aiden Michael Long. Danielle Alexandria Lopez. Mia Autumn Lucanville. Anthony Frank Luparello Jr. Molly Marie Lee. James Wallace Magruder. Aiden Ryan Mackey. Lonnie Manzano. Samantha Alexandra Marcunas. Sabina Anna Maria Martin. Abigail Martinez. Simon Martinez Soto. Santiago Martinez Martinez. John Arthur Matistic. Alexander Jason Mazzi. Magdalena Rose McClure. Emma Lauren McCracken. Benjamin Robert McDonald. Carver Webb McDonald. <laughs> Isabel Mairead McGarry. Logan Michael McGrath. Brooklyn Ariella Meacham. Eric Melendez. Avery Lauren Mellon. Jace Allen Meredith. James Matthew Meshnark Jr. Ty Allen Meyer. Kandram Andrew Mahalik. Hannah Satsuki Middleton. Jonathan Ray Minhades. Anna Teresa Minor. Eric Mondragon Mercado. Mason Isaiah Moore. Isabella Riley Morgan. Aiden Lee Morris. Ian Michael Morris. William Elijah Morris Crum. Miranda Elaine Moser. Simon Alexander Moss. <laughs> Cheyenne Lee Phoenix Moyer. Martin Alanane Matsuko. 
Quint Mullen V. Crispin Luis Mundell. Irene Munoz Mansoa. Chase Walker Muchink. Aaron Michael Nambo. Luke Anthony Natera. Ashley Paige Nelson. Charlotte Ann Newman. Kate Isabel Newman. Tyree Allen Nicholson. <laughs> Keegan James Oakley. Annika Marie Oberg. Kaya Marguerite Oberg. Caleb Micah Edding. Alexander David Olson. Caitlin Marielle Orozco. Benjamin Andrew Orth. Dianara Rain Ortiz. Skylar Jack Ortiz. Adam Leba Uchi. Kate Oakley Pape. Austin Michael Parente. Bella Grace Parker. Daniel Parkinson. David William Parr III. Riley Elizabeth Pierce. Alessandro Peck. Daniel Ryan Pelly. Cohen Gyro Perel. Ethan David Pekoski. Erica Peterson. Oh, yeah. Christopher Ryan Petty. Sean Yamandura Petty. Jennifer Nock Chun Pham. Blake William Padani. Aaron Rose Pish. Kira McLean Plus. William Isaac Plotz II. Jack Matthew Polshuk. Ryan Thompson Polson. Claire Elizabeth Poulter. Maxwell Clay Powell. Anna Colleen Prabula. Gabriel Ryan Roski Pritchard. Madeline Margaret Pumfret. Julian Alexander Rabago. Madison J. Radke. Hannah Avery Ray. Drake Evan Ramos. Hope Elizabeth Raspberry. Aaliyah Deanne Rial. Cade Manning Redfern. Gavin Michael Reed. Holland Patricia Reed. Margaret Emily Reinsell. Jacqueline Ray Reyes Miller Maldonado Garcia. Jacob Thomas Rhine. Dominic Matthew Ritter. Patrick James Reardon. Skylar Reese Rising.
Meisner. Killed it. Isabella Mina Rivera. Madison Marina Roberts. Connor DeWitt Ross. Thomas Castillo Ross. Brooke Lynn Rowe. Joseph Michael Russell. Hunter John Ryan. Kaylin Shayan Sadehi. Mikhail Fiham Sadiq. Daniel Isaiah Salinas. Anna Gabriela Sanchez. Natalia Michelle Sanchez Mejorado. Emerson Alejandro Sanchez Sanchez. Rances, Rances Augustine Sanchez Viate. Oh yeah. Anatha Narayan Sathya Narayanan. Victor Matthew Sowers III. Ethan Elvin Schaefers. Kylie V. Schaefers. Paisley Victoria Shawless. William McLean Schmidt. Summer Nicole Schultz. Devin Karina Schutbach. Alexia Joelle Schwartz. Madeline Pauline Seeds. Alyssa Lauren Celine. Ryder Lee Senko. Aiden Amadeo Sexton. Yash Matul Shah Middle. Oh. Isla Khatib Shahidi. Tristan Lee Shannon. Taylor Michelle Chateau. Catherine Hannah Sheets. Claudia Shirley Shen. Pukraj Kaur Shergill. Brennan Tyler Sherrod. Madison Josiline Shields. Arjun Parish Shukla. Sharia Chundra Shukla. Jana Yasin Sabai. Rebecca Marie Simpson. Jack Walker Singleton. Claire Nicole Sinwell. Devin Kane Sistrunk. Ada Noel Scape. Sorry. No. Ryan Mark Slowey. Andrew Jude Smysterla. <laughs> Colton Prescott Smith. Zane Parker Smith. Sarah Ellen Snyder. Michael Anthony Solorio. Clara Sloan Sosa.
Melissa. Evan June Spar. Caden Matthew Sprague. Colton Joshua Squires. Ryder James Squires. Owen Michael Strader. Savannah Grace Strader. Sherry Yu Shin Su. Brielle Lauren Swift. Christian Edward Tabor. Kelly Ann Tabor. Dylan Tam. Ileana Vangalova Tangarova. Caleb Logan Taylor. Ryan Mitchell Taylor. Emily Marie Tellier. Lucas Eduardo Tenerero. Jacob Ryan Thompson. James Reed Thompson. Lauren Marie Todak. Nadia Neve Torres. Ming Fong Thi Tran. Nok An Huang Tran. Alexander David Trebellico. Trista Madeline Trevino. Audrey Marie Truman. Julian Kaski Suji. Lila May Tucker. Wyatt Leon Turner. Oh. Alexander Wade Underwood. Aiden Keith Usri. Quentin Matthew Valier. Cyrus Nelson Van Sickle. Lydia Noel Vermillion. Jonathan Villanueva. Sarah Morgan Villarreal. Sarah Luann Vordren. Finley Melissa Walker. Catherine Lynn Walker. Logan Alexander Warden. Wyatt Warner. Jacob Robert Warren. Taylor Lene Warren. Henry Curtis Weatherly. Zeb Michael Wayland. Margaret Jane Wells. Jared Bryson White. Sadie Lane White. Catherine Grace Whitmarsh. Nicholas Wayne Whittington. Ethan Lauren Wilder. Chloe Elizabeth Wilkins. Harrison John Williams. 
Raven Leona Williams. Lila Christine Wood. I know who you are. Jackson Woods. <laughs> John Asher Yarbrough. Clayton Chalmers Yeoman. Kylie Elizabeth Young. Olivia Grace Young. Sandra Abigail Ziegler. Carter Michael Zinn. And Bethany Grace Zetraire. Let's give it up one more time for the class of 2023. At this time, please turn your attention to the video screen for a look back at our senior class.
and I'm your student body president for the 2022-2023 academic year. First and foremost, I would like to thank parents, friends, and faculty for supporting us through the years. We genuinely could not have done it without you. Secondly, I would like to say a few words to my fellow graduates. Like most of you, I've always looked forward to the last day of school. Even from the early elementary school days, I found myself eagerly bouncing my leg up and down under the table, waiting for that last bell to ring. The excitement of what summer would have in store would overcome me, and it was permitted to do so because of my knowing that I would always come back. I would always come back and walk through the courtyard and over to the library and up to the math hall. I would always come back and watch the basketball games and cheer to my heart's content and pray for another win. I would always come back and casually walk by the girl I sat next to for the entirety of sixth grade and wave at her in passing. This year is different though. There comes a sense of nostalgia with each passing year, but now it fades as we put this tradition of returning behind us. It feels almost as if something has been taken from us, but I assure you, it is not. In this set of four years that felt both like eternity and the blink of an eye, we have learned so much. I value everything we've learned, from the trig unit circle to the diagram of the cell, but the knowledge that I have come to value most from Cedar Park High is the life lessons taught to us along the way. Many of us have experienced a plethora of significant moments within the boundaries of the CPH, CPHS building. Those walls have seen our first loves, our first heartbreaks, our first failures, and our first successes. We learned how to navigate all of these things right here, and more importantly, we learned to do so together. This knowledge will serve us well, as it is the key for the opportunities that our futures may hold. But now we stand at a crossroads. On one side, we see our past, which we wanted to rush by so quickly. Through the bouncing legs and the waiting of bells, we eagerly look towards the future. And now we're actually here, looking back, tethered by the reluctant pull of nostalgia. We find ourselves reliant on this idea of comfort, this idea of coming back, but we must persevere. We must find bravery and take this leap so that we may continue to grow. Up until today, we've been able to say, we are Cedar Park, but now we're everywhere. We're Cedar Park, but we're also College Station, Lubbock, and Corpus. We are Cedar Park, but we're also Arkansas, New York, California, and so much more. Through us, Cedar Park will expand beyond its city limits and into the surrounding world. Guided by the lessons we learned here, we are ready to take on the new adventures. We may be in another city or state, surrounded by different people and out of our comfort zones, but we will forever be Cedar Park. My grandfather always says, everything in life can be taken from you, your possessions, your money, and even those you hold close. But the one thing that nobody will ever be able to steal is your knowledge. And with this, may we walk into our future, wherever it may be, fearlessly knowing that we can count on the lodge learned from Cedar Park High. Thank you. At this time, we would like to invite everyone to please stand and sing along with the Cedar Park High School alma mater performance by the amazing Cedar Park High School Band.
Great job, everyone. Graduates, the tassel attached to your cap is used for both differentiation and unifying purposes. The graduation tassel represents a belonging to a particular class that has completed its goals. The traditional turning of the tassel at graduation symbolizes one's transition from candidate to graduate. In recognition of the conferring of your diploma, it is now time. Please turn your tassels. And we have, we have a tradition before we... I bid you farewell, students of Cedar Park High School. Congratulations, class of 2023.